Have you ever wondered why your eyes turn yellow when you're unwell? Let's unravel this mystery today. Our body is a marvel of engineering, with the liver and gallbladder playing key roles in keeping us healthy. They, however, are not immune to disease. Today, we'll dive into six common conditions affecting these organs. Jaundice, fatty liver, alcoholic liver disease, cirrhosis, hepatitis, and gallstones. In the next few minutes, you'll gain insights into these medical conditions that even some medical students find complex. First on our list is jaundice, a condition that gives your skin and eyes a yellowish hue. Jaundice isn't a disease in itself, but rather a symptom of an underlying condition. It occurs when there's too much bilirubin, a yellow-orange substance, in your blood. Normally, your liver processes bilirubin so it can be excreted out of your body. But when your liver isn't working properly, or when the flow of bile is blocked, bilirubin can build up, leading to jaundice. The telltale signs of jaundice include yellowing of the skin and whites of the eyes, dark urine, and pale-colored stools. Some people may also experience itching, fatigue, or unintentional weight loss. If you notice any of these symptoms, it's crucial to seek medical advice immediately. There are many potential causes of jaundice, ranging from an inflamed liver or gallbladder to inherited disorders like Gilbert syndrome. In some cases, it may also be caused by certain medications. When it comes to treatment, the approach is to address the underlying cause. If jaundice is due to a blocked bile duct, for instance, a surgical procedure may be required to clear the obstruction. If it's the result of a liver condition like hepatitis, medications might be prescribed to treat the infection. Remember, while jaundice itself isn't usually harmful, it's often a sign of something more serious. So don't ignore that yellowish tint. It's your body's way of telling you something's not quite right. Now that you know about jaundice, let's move on to our next liver condition. Next up, we have the fatty liver disease, a condition that's as rich as it sounds. Fatty liver disease is a condition where excess fat builds up in your liver. This isn't about a diet gone wrong, but rather a serious health issue that can lead to severe liver damage if not addressed properly. Now, what causes this? There are two main types of fatty liver disease, non-alcoholic and alcoholic. As you might guess, the alcoholic type results from excessive consumption of alcohol. The non-alcoholic type, however, can be a bit more complex, often associated with obesity, high blood sugar, insulin resistance, or high levels of fats in the blood. Symptoms, you ask? Well, in many cases, fatty liver disease is a sneaky culprit, showing no symptoms at all. But when it does, they may include fatigue, abdominal discomfort, and an enlarged liver. So, how do we treat this? The first step is always to identify and manage the underlying causes. For the alcoholic type, that means cutting back on or even eliminating alcohol. For the non-alcoholic type, it often involves lifestyle changes like losing weight, controlling blood sugars, and maintaining a healthy diet. In some cases, medication or surgery may be necessary. But remember, the best treatment plan is one tailored to your specific needs, so always consult with a healthcare professional. With that, we wrap up fatty liver disease. Next, we delve into the world of alcoholic liver disease. Alcoholic liver disease, a condition that's a testament to the saying, too much of anything is bad. This disease is an umbrella term for liver damage caused by excessive alcohol consumption. It encompasses three conditions, fatty liver, alcoholic hepatitis, and cirrhosis. The liver is a remarkable organ, responsible for detoxifying harmful substances in the body, including alcohol. However, when consumed in large quantities over a long period, alcohol overwhelms the liver's detoxifying abilities, leading to damage and disease. Initially, symptoms might not be apparent. As the disease progresses, you might experience fatigue, weakness, weight loss, and jaundice. In severe cases, confusion or coma may occur due to a buildup of toxins in the brain. Now, let's talk about treatment. The first step is to stop drinking alcohol completely, this step alone can reverse the early stages of the disease. Medications can also be used to reduce liver inflammation. In severe cases, a liver transplant might be necessary. Alcoholic liver disease is largely preventable. Moderation in alcohol consumption and a healthy lifestyle are key. Regular checkups are also important, as early detection can significantly improve prognosis. That's all about alcoholic liver disease. 
Let's move on to our next condition, cirrhosis. Next in line is cirrhosis, a disease that's as hard to pronounce as it is to deal with. Cirrhosis is a late-stage liver disease, where healthy liver tissue is replaced with scar tissue, leading to a gradual loss of liver function. So, what causes cirrhosis? It can spring from a variety of conditions and diseases like chronic alcoholism, hepatitis B and C, and fatty liver disease. These conditions damage the liver over time, leading to the scarring we call cirrhosis. The symptoms of cirrhosis can be quite subtle at first. You might feel tired, experience loss of appetite, or have a bit of stomach discomfort. But as the disease progresses, symptoms become more severe. You might notice jaundice, a yellowing of the skin and eyes, or fluid accumulation in your abdomen, a condition known as ascites. Now let's talk about treatment. While there's no cure for cirrhosis, treatments focus on slowing the progression of scar tissue in the liver and managing the symptoms and complications. This might involve lifestyle changes, like abstaining from alcohol or losing weight. Medications can also help control symptoms and complications. In severe cases, a liver transplant might be necessary. Remember, early detection is key. Regular checkups and a healthy lifestyle can go a long way in preventing cirrhosis. And that's a wrap on cirrhosis. Up next, we have hepatitis. Ever heard of hepatitis and wondered what it really is? Well, you're about to find out. Hepatitis is an inflammation of the liver, often caused by a viral infection. But it isn't always about viruses. Certain conditions such as autoimmune hepatitis, where your body's immune system attacks your liver, and hepatitis caused by excessive alcohol consumption can lead to the same inflammation. Now, there are five main types of viral hepatitis. A, B, C, D, and E hepatitis. A and E are typically caused by ingesting contaminated food or water. Hepatitis B, C, and D usually occur through contact with infected body fluids, like blood or semen. Symptoms of hepatitis can vary, but often include jaundice, which gives a yellowish tint to the skin and eyes, abdominal pain, and chronic fatigue. But here's the tricky part. Some people with hepatitis may not experience any symptoms at all and the disease can silently progress to a severe liver damage. When it comes to treatment, it's all about the type and severity of the hepatitis. Some forms, like hepatitis A, often resolve on their own, while others, like hepatitis B and C, may require long-term treatment and can sometimes lead to conditions like cirrhosis or liver cancer if left untreated. And that concludes our discussion on hepatitis. Finally, let's talk about gallstones, Last but not least, we have gallstones, small but mighty troublemakers in your body. Gallstones are hard deposits that form in your gallbladder, a small pear-shaped organ that sits just below your liver. They're like tiny pebbles, yet they can cause a mountain of discomfort. Now, what causes these pesky stones? Well, they're usually the result of an imbalance in the substances that make up bile, a fluid produced by your liver that helps digest fats. This imbalance can lead to the formation of cholesterol stones, the most common type, or pigment stones, which are less common but equally troublesome. As for symptoms, they can be sneaky. Many people with gallstones don't even know they have them until a stone blocks a bile duct, leading to a sudden and sharp pain in the upper right part of the abdomen or in the center of the abdomen, just below the breastbone. Other symptoms can include back pain, nausea, and yellowing of the skin or whites of the eyes. If you're diagnosed with gallstones, don't panic. Treatment options are available, ranging from medications that can dissolve the stones to surgical removal of the gallbladder. And with that, we've covered all six diseases. Let's quickly summarize what we've learned today. That was quite a lot of information, wasn't it? Let's go over the key points. Jaundice is a symptom, not a disease and it's characterized by yellowing of the skin due to elevated bilirubin levels. Fatty liver, on the other hand, is a condition where excess fat builds up in liver cells, often a result of obesity or heavy alcohol use. Speaking of alcohol, alcoholic liver disease is a result of prolonged heavy drinking, leading to inflammation and scarring. Cirrhosis, the next step, is a late stage of scarring, often due to many forms of liver diseases and conditions. Hepatitis, a general term referring to inflammation of the liver, can be caused by viral infections, toxins, and autoimmune diseases. And finally, gallstones are hard deposits in the gallbladder 
that can cause severe abdominal pain. And there you have it. A deep dive into some of the most common liver and gallbladder diseases. Remember, knowledge is power. Subscribe for more because you won't find me later. Stay healthy, stay informed.